we get some very talented students at the College of Idaho uh, interested in creative writing and they run the usual gamut that uh, C of I students do. Many of them are from Idaho, um, from small towns who enter the college as uh, fantastic writers. The English department here is great. I had a really great experience working with all the professors in the department. I really appreciated the breadth of courses that were available from such a small department and the personal relationships I was able to form with the professors. One of the things I find striking about Louis is this combination of kind of genteel, old school intellectual and earthy, pragmatic, dedicated Westerner. I don't know, in some ways that kind of sums up the way this college is. It's a little, it's a little intellectual enclave and yet it doesn't put on too many Eastern airs. The folklore aspect was never very far from Louis' focus because that's, that's what his uh, PhD work was in. His uh, master's degree at Montana was involved uh, Emily Dickinson. So he could give amazing lectures, on one hand talking about an icon of American literature and then end up uh, talking about how uh, ranchers would pile up rocks uh, to stabilize their fence, their fence lines. You, know, it was, it, you never knew exactly what, what you are going to get. From a very early time, the college has attracted superb people. And it's hard to persuade people that I'm not stringing them along, that this really was actual, that these are great people. Now we've got solid documentation to back up what I've said. Dad Gummit, I was telling you true. I, I wasn't lying to you. Just since I've been here, I've recognized, I've had, I've had three Rhodes Scholars in my classes. One of them was my major, Jim Roloffs. This is the girl who transferred from Lewis and Clark to the University of Oregon. And this is the boy who is currently winding up his education at Idaho State. And he got 835 on his graduate record exam. And she plays the piano like nobody's been. I'd say he's lucky. Within the first couple of weeks at the school, I knew it was the perfect fit. I had um, a freshman seminar class with Sue Shaper. Uh, she was amazing. She walked in, totally captivated the whole room, was so intense and so intelligent. Probably for me, um, it sounds cheesy, but um, I've always known I wanted to do that from when I was a little kid. I started reading and I was like, man, I'm like, this is pretty nice. I'm like, I bet I could do this. And so it just kind of escalated from there, from me writing little stories in my journal to me writing articles for papers and just so on and so on. And so here we are. One of my colleagues once said, um, who had been at Harvard, he said, you know, half the students at Harvard are the best students you're ever going to see. Um, there for all the right reasons, brilliant, fun. And the other half are, well, I'll say jerks instead of the word I was going to say. Um, whereas his experience at the College of Idaho has been, you know, 95% or more of the students are just so likable. They don't all get A's, but we love them for their earnestness and their willingness to try and, uh, and the fact that they don't feel jaded and entitled and uh, sometimes don't even know what they're capable of till they come. That's a lot of fun. Back in 2011, I started my own poetry reading series, Ghosts and Projectors. I became connected with Big Tree Arts and I run the Poetry Slams. I run their Poets in the Schools program and I'm part of the Story Fort Committee and Story Fort is one of the sub-forts for Tree Fort. Without the scholarships that are offered at the school, there's no way that I could go here. And this has been some of the best years of my life. I'm really grateful for the scholarships I have. <laughs> Coming to the College of Idaho is such a fantastic experience and you learn so much at a liberal arts college like this that those scholarships mean like a thousand percent to people like me who wouldn't be able to otherwise afford to come here. Someone's generosity is the reason I'm here so I think my plea would be that um, maybe these people who are watching this could like help change someone's life by letting them go here. 
I charge you always to remember the great gift bestowed upon you in this hallowed place. And in the coming time, and according to your ability, to do everything within your means to assist others to partake of the advantages you've enjoyed here. Advantages conveyed by hands you cannot see. And never forget that whatever befalls, and wherever you go, you carry with you the good name of the College of Idaho.